Hello, it's Brenda, and I was just going to make a quick cooking video and show you what I'm making for dinner tonight. It's quick and easy, uh, and I wanted to show you um, some of the things that uh, we're eating. First thing is, I this is the brown rice that I use. I get it at Costco. It's by a Lundberg, and it's an organic short grain brown rice. And so, you know, I've made other videos before on my Zereshi. I love it use it every day uh, and what I did was I took two cups of the brown rice and then uh, for the liquid I used um, uh, chicken broth and then I did a fourth of a cup of this organic spectrum organic Cuban mojo marinade which is a zesty blend of orange and lime citrus garlic and cumin and I used that because I also took and I'm marinating some boneless pork loin in the are thin cut in the same sauce so it'll be nice because the rice will complement that and then I'm going to do an asparagus so I'll show you how um, to remove the ends of the asparagus and um, how to do a roasted asparagus so I'll set up my camera and I'll be right back okay so excuse some dirty dishes in the sink but I'm just gonna this is how I usually do asparagus so I keep a bowl here and then you just take and you pop them and you can feel when you bend them enough that they'll pop and they just easily break um, at that point where it's kind of like a woody uh, and then it becomes a soft flesh so then you're left with uh, the really nice meat and I take whatever wraps in there and then I will get the ingredients and I'll show you how I'm gonna um, prepare them okay so I've got this it's an organic olive oil and I just take and lightly put the olive oil on there maybe two tablespoons and I've got this it's just like Mrs. Dash and it's organic no salt seasoning. This was from Costco, but like I said, it's the same thing as Mrs. Dash. And I just sprinkle that on there. And then I've got uh, pepper, fresh black pepper. And sea salt. Stir it up to coat everything evenly with the oil and all of the seasoning. And then once it's evenly coated, I put it at 400 degrees for, uh, like I said, between 7 and 10 minutes. So I'm right now, um, the rice has not cooked up. It probably has about 15 more minutes, so I'm just getting everything prepped so that I can finish cooking it. Uh, and when I put these on the um, barbecue, that's the same time I'll put the asparagus in the oven at 400. So right now I'm just making sure that I have everything together. So I've got my plate um, and the marinating pork. And then I take some more of this marinade that I use, the Cuban Mojo. So I'll just uh, have that there so that when once they've started barbecuing, I'll uh, be able to brush them on. And so now I've got all my stuff ready. My asparagus is ready to go, and the meat's ready to go on the barbecue as soon as the rice pops up. And then it'll be a really quick and easy dinner to put together. So my rice cooker has four minutes left. I just started the barbecue, and then I'm going to take this out and put it on the barbecue in just a second. Okay, so I wanted to put some salt and pepper on these before I turn them over. And one uh, trick on grilling is you want to let the um, one side grill really well, and, and then it won't really stick. It'll like uh, be much easier. You won't rip the meat, and you want to... Um, Make sure that one whole side's grilled so you have nice grill marks that are even. 
Uh, see, this one's not ready yet. See? So I'm going to let these grow longer, and then I'll be back. Oh, my Bryce just popped up, and I put the asparagus in the oven also. Okay, I think these are ready to um, turn. Yep, see, there's really good grill marks on there. And they don't stick very well. well. Another thing, if you find that they're sticking, a good thing to do is to kind of go back and forth. It makes good grill marks, and it holds the meat up a little bit easier so you don't burn it. That looks good. See how uneven this grill is right now? It is a Weber, and I love the Weber. This one is a couple years old. So see, this one's thin, and it's got good burn on it, or good cooking. So I'm going to move them around a little bit where my hot spots are. This one's small, so I'm going to move that over there and keep these in my hot spot. And then I'm going to salt and pepper this side. And I just do a quick salt and pepper on each side. And this um, is an ox or a chefin, but I've seen one of these. It's silicone. It works really good um, on hot surfaces like the grill for putting uh, marinade on. And I've seen one by Oxo. Okay, I'm gonna turn these one more time and see what the other side looks like, so that I can. Um, no, it looks good. So the pork is done. Looks good, huh? Nice and juicy. And the asparagus is almost done, so I'm going to pull that out, and I'll show it to you. Here's the asparagus, nice and green. You can see, kind of bendy. I'm still crisp, but not uh, where you pick it up and it uh, wilts. You still want it to be kind of firm. And then let me show you the rice. The light's not that good here, but um, this is, I added the chicken broth and some of that marinade to it, and it's really nice and moist. It's got a good color, and it tastes really good. So everything's done. I'll plate it up, and I'll let you see it. Okay. So here is the finished product, my Zin, rice, asparagus, and grilled pork with a Cajun or a Cuban Mojo organic marinade. It looks really yummy. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you soon.